Hey guys, this is the Lala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia Memories. So, let's jump right back in. Man, today really was difficult, like getting kicked by a horse. In a situation like this, maybe it would be better to part ways. Huh? You can't see me. You aren't looking my way at all. Ready or not, here I come. Wow, you really can't see me. I'm right here on the bed. I see. It seems like we really won't be together much longer. Is there anything left you're worried about? Will you be fine without me? Okay, bye, Orion. Oh no, this is going to be so sad. I've never had Orion leave us before. August 27th. Work today, work tomorrow. Hey, you! You're working too hard. Huh. You're pretty used to walking this path now, huh? Wait, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, Elizabeth, good morning. Going to work. Iki, who is this? She's a junior of mine at work. What? Are you jealous, Miki? Um, maybe a little, but I see. It's just someone from work. That's good. Looks like you remembered something, but you've walked this path so many times already. Maybe opening your heart to Iki has also lifted the lid, holding some of your memories back. Yeah, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, here comes another memory. Iggy, I'm here to have some fun. Maya, you came. Want a drink? It's on me. Really? Thanks. I'm remembering all of Iggy's girlfriends that I've met until now. Iggy might have been playing around, but he was still really nice to everyone. And yet he broke up with all of them, too. Why? Did none of them want to uh, try going out for longer than three months? Well, I don't really know everything you're thinking about anymore, but I can tell you're anxious now. I know you've been anxious all this time because you don't have your memories back yet. If I had a body, I'd be able to go around myself instead and try to investigate these things for you. I could give you a hug and try to comfort you. Oh, Ryan. Oh my god, are you serious? Whoever the fuck is calling, fuck off. Hey, welcome back. Whoa, it's Toma. Ugh, you haven't seen him since the day he helped take care of you. What could he need? I got a call from Sawa saying you didn't seem to be well, so I came to see how you were doing. Wait, why Sawa? In truth, it seems like Iki had asked Sawa to check up on you, but she said she couldn't make it today. Whoa! So Iki decided to tell Sawa about it. I see. So he must have noticed you getting dizzy at work. My mom gave me some food that might help. Mind if I come in? So, what's wrong? Are you sick? Or is this more emotional? I heard from my parents. It sounds like your dad got married to yet another woman. Not only that, but she lives pretty far away. I heard you'll be moving over there next month, but you'd end up being separated from Iki in that case. Oh my fucking god. Hold on, I'm gonna fucking pick up the phone and hang it up because I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't like it. Have you decided what to do? I don't want to go. Are you fucking kidding me? I see. I'm sure Iki feels the same way. I'd ask my parents if they could let you stay at their place, but... I don't know when my parents will be moving either. I wouldn't want to recommend that option. 
Anyway, have something to eat. Cheer up a bit. Elizabeth, from a long time ago, you've always tried to carry your burdens by yourself. In the past, I asked you a number of times to rely on me more. But you have someone you can rely on now. Don't forget that. I'll see you later. Give your worrying boyfriend my regards, too. Yeah, that's right! You can rely more on Iki now! I think you could let him spoil you a little during hard times, especially since I'll be disappearing soon. Hey, I've been thinking about this for a while, but maybe you should tell Iki everything about your amnesia and me, and why you can't go to the hospital, everything. I'm sure Iki would believe you. In fact, I doubt anyone but Iki would believe you. He's suffering from such an abnormal condition, too, and he's always been doubted and mistrusted by others. I know he could help you. He'll protect you. Oh, excuse me. You should do that. You've got a day off tomorrow, so you should message him and say that you want to talk. Speak of the devil. We need to talk. Is this, or is this about sharing a room? I'll go over there after lunch tomorrow. Well, all that's left is tomorrow, and for him to believe us. Yeah, the person calling my phone all the fucking time while I'm recording is my roommate, and I'm getting really fucking sick of it. She knows that I record while she's at work. I am, like, tempted to just turn off the fucking phone every day. August 28th. Now then, what kind of things will you tell me today? I hope it's good news. Although I'd accept whatever you have to say, regardless of the contents. Don't hold back. Please say what you want. So, the time has finally come! After that, I told Iki about everything. That on August 1st, I woke up not remembering who I was, or what kind of life I had led. I also told him that a spirit named Orion had entered my mind and displaced those memories. That Orion and I were working together to reclaim my memories and return me to my old life. We didn't want to be confined to a hospital, so that's why I didn't tell anybody about it. I understood immediately that Iki was my boyfriend, but getting closer only brought back bad memories. I didn't know if we or if whether I could seriously continue to have feelings for him. I was so scared and anxious but all of the things I couldn't say up until this moment. I told him. I told him everything. You didn't remember? Not me or your family or your job. Absolutely nothing. This is shocking. So this means that you and that spirit were fooling everyone around you all this time. You had no idea who your friends are or who your friends or your enemies were. Yeah, now that you mention it, there are a number of events that come to mind. I see. A spirit, huh? It's hard to believe, but these eyes exist too, so I guess it can't be that strange. I see. So that's why your attitude suddenly changed this month and you started distancing yourself. It's true that I gave off countless bad impressions, though. Of course you'd remember those first. And all the time, I had been trying desperately to win you over since June. You forgot all of that. <laughs> I should probably apologize for when I tried to forcibly kiss er, force so forcibly to kiss you at the beginning of the month. At the end of the last month, it seemed that you really took a liking to me. I didn't know when I could ask you though. Then when I tried or when I was trying to figure out the right timing, you suddenly sweetened up to me, asking for me to walk with you in the morning and such. I thought the time was obviously okay, but I never thought you would lose your memories. You refused my kiss and I was so confused, but I get it now. Do you understand now too? Do you have any more questions about my actions? <sighs> I don't know. I just don't know what I should do at a time like this. I'm sure it was rough. What do you want me to do? What can I do for you? Uh... Could you give me a hug? Aww, blushies. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sure you were really anxious. Ah, uh, if only I had said more from the start, 
that I loved you and that you were the only one for me. I was in a panic. There was less than a month left. I was finally getting closer to you, but we were going to be separated again. I always told you to be wary around other girls, but you suddenly became so defenseless. And because of that, they were all able to get in our way. I really was panicking. I'm sorry. I'm probably the one who's caused you the most anxiety. I really do love you. There were times when I treated you so coldly, but I was just being careful so you wouldn't get bullied. But I'll stop all that now. I'll tell you I love you every day so you'll understand for sure. Even if you lose your memories again. Oh, There, there. This is the first time I've ever seen you cry. From now on, I'll protect you from everything and er, anything and everything. Where should I start? Maybe some of your memories? Or how about how much I love you? Oh, but I'd probably just say things that make me look good. Or I might have, if you still doubted me. Hmm. If they're all stories that make me look good, I'll cut that total, or I'll, I'll cut down that total by uh, about one fifth. Now, where should I start? Oh, I know. I should tell you about the fir- or the time we first met. <laughs> Although, it's all about your serious dislike toward me. Oh, I'm like gonna cry. It's time to part ways. Ahem, <clears throat> since this is the last time, I'll, or I mustered all my strength to become visible. What do you think? Anyway, you've reclaimed more than enough memories. Not everything yet, but there's nothing to worry about with Iki by your side. Iki really was a good guy. I'm relieved. What a nice smile. Who looks like your feelings are back to normal. There were a lot of hard times, but the last or this last month I spent with you was really fun. I don't think we'll meet again, but take care and get along with Iki. Bye bye. Oh, bye, Orion. We're serious now. Bye bye, Orion. Thank you for everything. Oh. I am, like, about to cry. August 29th. Good work. Let's go home together. I'll wait right here. Hmm? Are you two leaving? Oh, hello, Waka. It seems you haven't been meeting the other girls for a few days. Have you finally made up your mind? I made up my mind a long time ago. But those girls are uh, a little extreme, so to speak. I didn't want to get her involved. Hmm, I see. So you're trying to deal with extremists. You can't spoil them by giving in to their demands. But if outright denied, they would only cause harm to innocent people. It's a difficult decision. Anyone would have trouble with this. That's right. It is very difficult. But I think you've already been spoiling those ladies a little too much. If you're still contemplating the current situation, I say that you should come out a little stronger. In other words, you need to show them that your bonds with her are so strong that nobody could ever come between you. You need to make them understand that. Show them that their, ag- er, that their aggression for attention is meaningless and that you'll only dislike them for it. I see. I guess that is one way of thinking about it. Heh. <laughs> it's from Chapter 3 of Love is War, from my book collection on how to fight rivals in love. I could lend it to you. Thank you. Maybe I'll take you up on that offer. By the way, Waka, you could have told me this sooner if you knew. There wouldn't have been much, or much point in telling you if you hadn't made up your mind yet. Victory requires a cool head, determination, and, op- er, and an opportunity. I just figured that opportunity was now. If you understand, then go home and claim her hand as yours. Got it? Yes, sir. Ike! Why? You're going home with her today, too? 
you said she just wasn't feeling well the other day. She hasn't gotten better yet. Sorry, but she's my girlfriend. Why don't you just leave us or let us go home together in peace? What? You're kidding. Why? What's wrong with us? There is nothing wrong. I just want to go home with her. Iggy. Is it really okay to do something like this? Do we really need to break up? Huh? That girl Iki's talking to, I've never seen her. I've seen her before. Is she always hanging around here? No, that's not it. It was somewhere recent. Oh! Iki, who is this? My junior at work. What, are you jealous, Miki? So she's Miki. Huh? Then could she be... Iki, I'm here to have some fun! Maya, you came. Want a drink? It's on me. Right, she's Maya. And there's another. Let's see. You're a Taeko, right? I take it you're here to go out with me too. Y yes That's right, she's Taeko. Why? Why are all these girls Iki broke up with in the fan club? Didn't you say it was troublesome to deal with the fan club so you'd break up with each girl after three months? You don't resent the fan club? Hmm. Did all the oh did all the girls I broke up with become my fans and join that club? Yeah, I suppose that's right. But most of the girls I've gone out with until now had been waiting their turn anyway. What? Aren't you one of them too? You didn't have much interest in them at first, but you joined them around May. But still, all you did was smile at me out of po or out of politeness, and you never really gave me a warm welcome. After seeing that, I started to gain an interest in you. Didn't we talk about this yesterday? Now that you mention it, Sawa mentioned that too, that I joined the fan club. But why? Hmm, so you still haven't remembered why you joined. I've asked you about it so many times, but you never told me. Because I was interested in their club activities? Hmm, that might be possible. It's pretty unusual to have a fan club for a regular guy like me. You might have been interested in what was going on. Regardless, you could have answered me when I asked you for your reason before. You were pretty open about not liking me from the very beginning. If you had said you joined the fan club out of a passing interest, I wouldn't have, or it wouldn't have been shocking to me. That's right. That would be true. I wonder why I couldn't tell you the reason why I joined the fan club. And it wasn't just you, I didn't even tell Sawa. Everyone wanted to know, so why couldn't I answer? Could there have been a reason I couldn't answer? Now that we're talking about it, it really is a mystery. I wonder for whose sake you were holding back. Yourself, one of the girls, or me? If you found some dark secret about the fan club, there wouldn't be any need to hide it from me. I've been wary about those girls from the very beginning, and I shared that with you already. So if you were hiding something, it might mean the fan club's activities aren't what I imagine they are. All, or they are. Rika, what are you doing? Rika, she's scary. She's probably the leader of the fan club. I don't know anything at all about her. How long have you known Rika? We were in the same class in middle school, and it seems like she took a liking to me since then. But she never approached me, she never confessed to me, and she was never my girlfriend. I was actually grateful when she started gathering the girls into one group at first. It made things quiet down for me somewhat. But it's also true that the club has brought together a very strange group of people. But I'm still grateful towards Rika. Rika always manages to settle down the girls who go out of control. Really? 
But Rika was saying scarier things than the others were. You might just need to die. Alright, so that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!